Your daughter, whose son we're talking about on stage, and I understand she's in labor right this she's minute. She's in labor right now. She's in labor right now. Um, so she couldn't be here today. Let's, let's bring Jessica out. Girl, bye. Look, okay, just drop your shoes. Just um, so, so you're supposed to be grown. You I am grown. You're supposed to be grown. You're supposed to be grown. No, you're supposed mama. to be grown, but yet you are your somebody's mother on a man. I'll slap your ass too. You're not slapping. I'll bet you I will. You're not. Come on over here then. We're here to find out about the child, okay? Let's keep it t to that realm. What happened? What did you see the day the child got injured? The day that, son, that Jason's son got injured, um, I was putting on my jacket, getting ready to go to the store. I heard a loud scream. I don't want to get emotional in front of her because I really do love this little boy. Okay, Girl. so tell Like, us. with all my heart. Shut the If you love him, I why don't you him. call for him? I love him. Okay. Do you hear me? Greg, take her off for a second. I Very love this little boy she don't with love all him. my heart. See, Stupid ass. I didn't ever want nothing bad to happen to him. He had just started walking not too long before that. So, of course, he's reaching, you know, grabbing stuff all the time. I'm going to get my jacket. I hear a loud scream. I know his scream. So I immediately am like, oh, my God. He well, I'm sure fell. that's the first time something. you heard that scream. Exactly. He done fell or something. He really hurt himself. I see Jason running, and I'm like, let me go see what happened. It was in the kitchen. So I peek around the corner. I see the noodles everywhere. I know he got burnt. I'm not thinking it's his face. I'm thinking, OK, he burnt his hand or something. I go to the bathroom. <laughs> I get emotional. His skin was completely come off his face, like open. And um, the cold water was just making it come down even more. So I immediately was like, give him to me. And I rushed with him and my family member to the hospital. Once we got there, something's really wrong. He's going into shock, literally. You can see him. The baby. And they didn't have a burn unit, so. We had to wait and wait. They finally get a halo flight, and it's only for two. I told Jason, just get on it, go. I'll drive there. Six hours, we finally get there. By the time I got to the hospital, they had already looked at him. Um, he had already been looked at by a skin graft specialist, by a plastic surgeon, because I didn't get there until 6 in the morning. So, when, we... so when you go through all this, and Jason says, <laughs> hey, you told him to call. I did. Right. Why wouldn't you say, hey, I, you're going to get mad at me, this and that. And you got to call. I was on top of him all the time. Because you're a mom. All, all the time. I'm like, this is going to get bad. Right. She's going to blame me. Right. But I also you saw it. You saw it all coming. You saw but, everything that was going to exactly. happen happen. But seeing now, I, I'm not going to say he was right. He was definitely wrong. In hindsight, he was wrong. Here's the point, and, I, and this is the point I'm going to make. No matter how they act, even if it's wrong, That's what I'm saying. you wrong. still got to do it. You got to tell him. What I would like to ask is because your daughter, your sister, has her son now. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. If they were to pass, and it, it, it is an accident, they passed the lie detector test, what happens now with the little boy? Because I got to imagine up to the point he was with uh, them, the boy is developing a bond with his father, right? I mean, you can't deny that. If you're spending I mean, every I day. Just, so I'm it. saying, what happens if they pass? What's going to happen with the little boy? They can do whatever the hell they want to, because when hell freezes over is when they'll get him back. That's see? crazy. Can you see the petty? Okay. Do you walk, get him. Get him. walk, get him. Because they, they're they will not responsible enough to call somebody though? if something happened. You think we're going to get he him back? He was down there, and even, he wasn't even down there a month, and it happened. He was down there two weeks, and he got burnt like that. So You mean to tell me you want us to give him back to him? What kind of father would keep that from somebody? That's wrong, you dead wrong. And that's it. And that's what I'm more mad and hurt about because me and you communicated, Jason. You told me you wanted to be a better parent, you wanted to be a father to him. And what did I say? I'm gonna give you a chance. Did I not uh, say that? Yeah. So, so then why would you call okay. us? So hold on, hold on. You need okay. to hush. Okay. Okay. Shut up. No, 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 no you shut up. Why are you in here? You know where you about to be here. You about to be talking to me. I was you. You wanted, you wanted to say where all the paperwork is, and we brought it out. You guys brought a ton of paperwork. And this paper basically is they got a lot of medical 
Yeah. For this child. Yeah. Hospital care, doctor yeah, visits. So me. Um, so me. The fact that, that the doctors stop. believe that this is an accident. So they did provide a ton of paperwork. You won it. That's where it is. Thank you. Right. From five different doctors. Can you say that? Five. 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 Jason came here and also took a DNA test because when the child was born, he was not put on the birth certificate. Um, since this happened, um, and he would like to obviously have um, uh, joint custody or some kind of custody uh, with the child. And so we gave him a DNA test, and the results of that DNA test, Jason, you are the father. You are oh, the father. Yeah. Like... We knew that. We just yeah. wanted to get birth certificate. Jessica took a lie detector test. Job, ho. And we asked her, did you intentionally burn Jason's yeah. son? This is to Jessica. Did you intentionally burn Jason's son? She answered no. Did you witness anyone else intentionally burn Jason's son? She answered no. Did Jason's son accidentally burn himself with those noodles? She answered yes. Did you ever hit Jason's son leaving any marks or bruises? She answered no. The results came back the same to each question, and it came back that Jessica told the truth. She Thank you, bitch. She Can I go now? Can I she go better. now? You need a girl. You need to put a girl on, huh? You need a girl. You can't fix your teeth, baby. Look at your ugly ass. Fix your grill. You know, fix your grill. Fix your grill. You know, you know, let them see the real. Let them see the real. There, there, there is a little boy that is scarred for life. Exactly. There is a little boy that has burns all over his body, and we're talking about girdles and grills. Everybody on the stage is an adult, and a mother, or a father. Act like that. Act like your kids are watching you right now. Or better yet, like your parents are watching. That's how I try to live my life. Like my dad's watching me. Did you intentionally burn your son? He answered no. Did you witness anyone else intentionally burn your son? He answered no. Did your son accidentally burn himself with those noodles? He answered yes. Did you ever hit your son leaving any marks or bruises? He answered no. The results came back all the same, and it came back that Jason told the truth. Well, good. We love him. I don't see why you love your own kid, girl. You need to just stay in your place. You said that. You said that. I've been raising him. How you raising him? How you raising him? How? 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 Goodbye. You don't even know what you're talking about. Goodbye. There's, there's no talking to either side here. Um, I will put my two cents on this. The grandmother makes a good point. It's happened with children, but you don't put your child in a position to pull a boil of scalding ass hot water on yourself, right? Like, that was a huge mistake. Again, I don't think the intentionally burning child or, or trying to cause harm, but you know, you don't, you know, I remember when I, my babies were small, we child proof the house, right? So you don't set a bowl of boiling hot water and then walk away from the child that you can pull it out, you know. The sad thing with this story is it doesn't settle anything because I even believe that as much as they don't dislike or dislike this guy and his girlfriend, they didn't believe that, but it's wrong that you don't notify the parent, other parent, that the child. <laughs> you know, and, and through the scream I hear, it was five months, it was six months, it was five months, it was six months. Who gives a damn? <laughs> and I feel bad for the little boy because uh, when you go through something like this, there's also uh, emotional trauma, right? Who's prepared in this family to help this child through that? So it's very sad. They got the answers, they got the truth, and what they do with. That's our man.